The amazing Connie Corso is one of the most powerful and intelligent guard dog breeds in the world. But can this muscle-packed Italian Mastiff be trusted around children or other animals in the household? Well, in today's video, we're going to see whether the Connie Corso will protect children and other pets, or whether children and other pets need protection from the Connie Corso. Welcome back to the Femrear Connie Corso Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FemrearCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the incredible Connie Corso, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Connie Corsos. So if you are new here and you love the Connie Corso as much as we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future Connie Corso video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a good look at the Connie Corso's capabilities as a family dog. Can this 150 pound giant be trusted around children and other animals much smaller than itself? And to answer this question, let's briefly look at the history of the magnificent Connie Corso Mastiff. The awesome Italian Mastiff is a descendant of the legendary ancient Greek Molossus Hound, a ferocious guard dog known to fearlessly attack whatever human or animal trying to approach its territory. During the occupation of Greece, Roman soldiers were so intrigued by these massive and fierce dogs that they introduced the breed to the Roman army. Soon, the ancestors of today's Connie Corso had distinguished itself in battle, fighting alongside the Roman soldiers. Now, after the fall of the Roman Empire, the Mastiff from Greece became the guard and livestock guardian of choice for many farms throughout Italy. As well as that, the heavy but agile dog was also utilised as a hunting companion for the pursuit of wild boars and other very large game. Cattle driving became another of the versatile Connie Corso specialities over the centuries. So then, as we can see, the Connie Corso has filled demanding roles in the past, roles that required to be absolutely fearless and always ready to attack people, bulls or wild boars. This is not exactly the history of a trustworthy family companion. Or is it? We must not forget that the Connie Corso's key job in the centuries following the Roman Empire was that of a farm and livestock guardian. In this position, these powerful dogs protected their owners and their owners' families, as well as any animals living on the farm. And they already knew how to do that because it had been bred into them long before they ever set foot in Italy. The breed's ancestors, the Molossus hounds themselves, were predominantly used as close quarter guardians by their owners, the Molossian farmers. This, in essence, means that in case of an attack, the dog would not leave the side of its owners. Instead of charging off towards the intruders, it would stay close to its people, putting its bulk right between them and the threat. And precisely this kind of behaviour can be observed in modern-day Connie Corsos. To this day, the breed has remained a defensive protector who shields its humans or its flock with its own body. By no means are Corsos aggressive catch dogs likely to bite anything that moves. So right there is why we see the Connie Corso has become one of the best family guardians in the world. So much so that companies that train personal protection dogs deliberately place Corsos in households with children instead of breeds like Dobermans or German Shepherds. Over millennia, these dogs were bred to protect their owners as well as the animals in their owner's care. They were not bred to hunt and kill livestock. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly interrupt this video and let you know that over on FemrearCanineLeaders.com we have got a completely free quiz to help you work out if you are ready to bring a Connie Corso into your home. It's a quiz that we designed, you just go through it, it doesn't take long at all, answer some questions, make sure you answer them honestly and truthfully, and then at the end we'll tell you whether we think that you're in a position to be able to bring a Connie Corso into your home. Again, there'll be a link down in the description box below, it's completely free, we're trying to help people choose the perfect breed for them and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise that breed to be a perfect canine companion so like i say links in the description box below but let's get back to the video you were just watching when well socialized and trained by an experienced canine leader the connie corso is a wonderful family dog a gentle giant who is not likely to sink its teeth into any lap dog cat or rabbit that you might have in your home and much less will a well-trained connie corso ever think about attacking your own children. However, if not properly socialised, the Corso's extreme protective instincts can lead to accidents, such as your dog biting your children's friends when they are at your house and playing. 
A conic corso unfamiliar with such situations could misinterpret them, thinking that your child is under attack. The consequences can and have been fatal, at least for the dog, especially as it will have to be put down. And you do not even want to imagine the gigantic jaws of a conic corso in full attack mode, what they can do to a child's body. Unfortunately, this is something that as a canine behaviourist that specialises in large, powerful guardian breeds, are situations and scenarios that I've had to be involved with and help with in the past. And it's precisely these reasons why I take educating about the Connie Corso so seriously. It's no secret that I absolutely love this breed and by now you can tell that I think they're a fantastic choice for families with other animals and children but it's got to be understood that only when they're in a family with a high level canine leader that can properly raise, train and socialise a Connie Corso to allow them to reach those insane levels of ability that they are capable of reaching. And as you will know, in case you've been around for a while on this channel or on our main channels, the Femria Canine Show or Femria Canine Training, like I say, I love the Connie Corso. In my own personal opinion, I'm not sure if there's a better breed suited as a family guardian, except maybe the Bull Mastiff or the English Mastiff. Stiff. And I can safely say that as I have owned a Connie Corso myself, unfortunately she passed away at just four months old, and I've worked with many Connie Corsos over my years as a canine behaviourist, that this breed truly is one of a kind. This breed has an innate love for children of any age, and the care and gentleness they show towards them is truly heartwarming. Usually a Connie Corso will happily embrace a newborn baby as a welcome addition to the family. Corsos are extremely affectionate towards their loved ones and they are happiest when all of the family is around them so they will naturally want to spend as much time with their people as possible including the baby, other children and other pets. Of course with a Connie Corso as your family guardian you will not have to worry about anybody touching your children or about anybody breaking into your house. Again the Corso's abilities as close quarter guardians are simply amazing. Also, the breed is highly intelligent in combination with diligent socialisation and this intelligence enables them to act appropriately in any given situation. For example, a well-educated Corso will allow friends coming to the house to give you a warm hug, but they will not expend that same courtesy to strangers on the street who you don't want to be hugging you. Because whilst devoted to their family, these dogs are not people lovers in general. As adults, they are extremely wary of strangers and keep a close eye on everybody that might be approaching their owners. But like I say, when well socialised, their ability to differentiate friend from fro is unlike many other breeds in the world. The glorious Italian Mastiffs form extraordinary close bonds with everybody in their own household, other pets included. For their enormous size, they are amazingly measured in their movements, which makes them unlikely to knock over children or to mow down smaller dogs in their home. They're not prone to charging around the house like many other dogs do. That said, they do come with a high prey drive and care should be taken when introducing them to smaller pets like rodents or birds, especially if they haven't been raised with them and you're bringing the new pet into a home with an established Connie Corso. Now, Connie Corso seem to live for playtime, which makes them fantastic playmates, especially for older children. With a bit of training, they're quite happy to retrieve toys and to engage in amazing games of tug of war. They seem to be amazingly aware of their strength and often seem to be exceptionally gentle when playing with smaller dogs, puppies or children. This is something that we discovered when we were trying to do our Bite Force test series, when we developed a meter to be able to test every breed's bite force. We tested it first with the Connie Corso in a game of tug of war and we noticed that the Connie Corso would only insert enough bite force to be able to have the fun game of tug of war, even though we knew it was capable of hundreds of PSI more. So I think that wraps up our discussion of the Connie Corso's behaviour around children's and pets. As we saw, these powerful masters are absolutely loving, loyal and deeply affectionate family guardians. Their big heart for children and amazing tolerance for other animals makes them the perfect choice for households with children and other pets, providing that you can be a high level canine leader and raise and socialise them appropriately. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget, you've got to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you'll never miss a future one of our Fenrir Connie Corso episodes.